Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, May 17th. Please stand by for the Pledge to the Flag. Hi, my name is Matt English. I'm a sixth grader at the Howard School. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence. Thank you. There's an assistant groundskeeping job opening at a private estate on Route 106 in East Bridgewater. Qualifications not necessary, but helpful if you have your driver's license, mechanically knowledge, and like to work outdoors. The rate is $11 per hour. If interested, please contact Mr. Richard Swan at 508-326-8817. Grade 10 math MCAS will begin. Today, signs are hanging in the CAF and outside the Learning Commons for all classroom changes and rosters for testing sites. Good luck to all testing. The Athletic Awards Night will take place on Tuesday, May 31st at 6 p.m. The Model UN will be meeting this Friday during Power Block. Both the baseball and softball teams were busy yesterday. For more on sports, here's Joe Fazio. The JV baseball team thought through the long lines of the ferry, the waves, and a few sharks on the way to the vineyard. Once on the island, their battle continued as they fought back and forth with Martha's Vineyard. Devin Jorgantis, Anthony Ambrose, and Max Capercchio battled the elements to pitch a great game. Anthony Nardelli reached base on all four play appearances, scoring three runs. Cam Gay supplied tough defense in the, in the field, scoring two runs as well. All in all, it was a very hard-fought game with both teams tying 14-14. The varsity softball team defeated East Bridgewater 6-2 yesterday afternoon. East Bridgewater had no answer for Catherine Pleach, who kept the runners off the base pass in their appearance. Pleach just gave up two hits, allowing one earned run, walked two, and struck out six during his seven innings of work. The Wildcats never surrendered the lead after their first inning, scoring three runs on a two-run home run over the fence by Anna Perchio and a single by Ashley Condon. The girls added to their lead in third when Ali May and Comperchio both got on base with walks and Shea Dunman hit a three-run home run over the fence. The girls play Cardinal Spelling at home this afternoon. The JV softball team won yesterday. Emily Outerbridge had three singles while Sophie Sophie Morris, Mag Maggie McCaffrey, and Megan Willis had big hits to lead the undefeated JV softball team to 11-6 word over EB. Morgan Bellady pitched all seven innings and had 11 strikeouts in the win. Back to you guys. Thanks, Joe. Any athlete that earned a varsity letter this year will receive their certificates that night. A list of all fall and winter letter winners is posted outside the front office. Please verify that you will receive a letter and that any honors earned are correct. If you have any questions, see Mr. Winchell in 215. The Heritage Group will be meeting today during Power Block. We will be meeting in the Green Commons. The Wildcat Cafe is serving pasta with meatballs on the hotline today. Fish and chips will be available again at the grill station in the featured wrap of the day is chicken corbin blue with breaded chicken, ham, cheddar, and honey mustard dressing. Warm, freshly baked donuts will be available at break. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Jenna, Joe, myself, and the morning crew, have a great day.